All right, we're here with Coach Yu and Keontae after the uh, Bruins fall to Emmanuel College. Coach, we knew coming into this one, Emmanuel's going to be a tough matchup. Every every year we play them, they got a great program. So kind of from the start and the, and the strategy and the game plan, um, what, did, what did we need to do to, to stick with this team? Well, one of the main ways they score is by offensive rebounding. And they... They had more offensive rebounds than we had actual rebounds on on both ends tonight. And you know, if you're, we can't out jump them, but we could have had better position all all five of us. And that's something that we worked on. You know, we really only had one day to work on it coming off of the Thanksgiving break, but that's not an excuse. We that's something that we've been working on, and so that was part of our part of our our game plan. And then defending the three, which is something that takes, it's really hard to do at the college level um, because of how spread out you get, because everybody can shoot. And if they get out on them to shoot, they can also drive by you. And they had 11 threes on us. And so that, if we get better at those things, we give ourselves a chance to run a little bit more offense and transition. If we're able to be a little bit better defensively, they go hand in hand. And I think that's that's the quickest way for us to get better right now is to be a little bit better defensively to make our offense a little bit easier because right now we're coming down the court and we're facing their five sitting there the entire time on the lane and we have to be able to manufacture some points without their entire defense right in front of the basket. You talked about a little bit of the offensive struggles, but uh, you know it took us a little bit to get going and, and, and really couldn't get into a sustained offensive rhythm tonight. Uh, what do you think was effective that their defense was doing that kind of knocked us out of our rhythm? Well, they're just, you know, they're long and athletic. And part of our strength against other teams has been part of our post play. And when you're going against their post, you don't have that. And so we're forced to kind of go to our our plan B. And it's very hard, you know, John John was not even on the team when we started this year. And now John's our starting point guard. And, John's having to, to learn on the job, which is tough for him. Uh, but we also have the two wings next to him that are learning on the job. And so they're not getting open in a timely manner for John to be able to distribute it. And so just their length and athleticism really forced us to run our offense basically from the NBA three-point line. And um, we can't be doing that. Yeah. And we Once we got some ball screens and we settled down a little bit, we started running what we had actually practiced. But it took us, I think, 10 or 12 minutes to get into that. You know, Q, uh, as Coach mentioned, you know, obviously it's a tough loss tonight, and it's it's one of those things where we've had uh, a lot of adversity so far this year. Um, you know, a lot of guys who are, are getting their first taste of college basketball and, and really trying to get used to the speed of play and stuff like that. So uh, as one of the players that, you know, it's it's even funny to say this, as, as one of the veterans on the mm -hmm. team, even though you only have one year of experience, uh, what are you saying to, to encourage those guys and um, – and get them to you know pick their heads up after a tough loss tonight. Uh, I think Coach mentioned it today in the locker room. Um, we had six games already. We had a preseason game. Um, we always talk about the positives after the game, but we can't focus too much on the positives no more. Um, it's a lot of negatives out there, and we we got to fix it. Um, and you know, a lot of guys, like you said, are young guys coming from high school, and it's not the, it's not the same game. We focus so much about our points or offensive things when we have to fix our defensive side of the ball, and we're not doing that. And um, I'm going to put that on me, uh, being a guy who, who wants to be vocal on the defensive end. That's on me. So I'll take that, but we, we can't focus on the positives for encouragement no more. we got to find ourselves fixing the negative right now. And you guys, uh, now, now you're at a point where – you know, we've played such a brutal schedule to begin the season. Now we're going to start playing some teams that, you know, are, that we're going to see in region tournaments and region playoffs and those kinds of things. So, Q, from your perspective tonight, as, as we take, you know, the first six games of, of playing against some really good competition, what do you think we need to do to improve going into to Saturday in our first region matchup? Um, like you said, it's a region matchup. Uh, we, need to, we need to find a way to win those games. Those games are very crucial. Um, I think one, one thing we can go off is, is like I said, playing defense. Um, obviously, it's not the same type of competition that we're playing the first six games, but we need to take the energy of losing and, and bring it and apply it to these games that's coming up, no matter if we're playing Garden Web on December 6th or not. But we got to take those games, and, and we got to find a way to play defense. And the offense will come out of that, but as a young team, we, we, we got to fix it, and uh, we'll start tomorrow to do that. 
All right, Coach, kind of same question to you, you know, taking what we've learned so far in the first six games, you know, playing against Trinity, uh, a team that, you know, has a good program and, and is going to be a challenge for us. What do we got to do to, to pick up our first win and our first region win of the season? Well, I think the first step to winning is to eliminate losing, and uh, we can't beat ourselves. So the way you eliminate losing is not have uncharacteristic turnovers. Uh, you need to have good shot selection, and uh, you need to hit rebound. And that is always going to be, we talked before the game about the three best NBA teams, the three best college teams. They do that. They never beat themselves. And um, until we eliminate beating ourselves, we're not going to, we can't worry about beating anybody else. And, you know, I think we can take a huge step with that. We've got a couple of days to practice and, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can do that on Saturday. I think we can. We've got enough veterans where I think that they can really help me with that. Alrighty. Thanks, guys.